In this video, we're doing a quick walkthrough of one of our more popular tech guides, the HANFS cluster using Pacemaker and DRBD. This guide features the more traditional high availability software stack consisting of DRBD, Pacemaker, and Corosync, and of course, NFS. If you're interested in a more simplified approach to highly available NFS, please see our NFS tech guide using DRBD Reactor in place of Pacemaker. This tech guide targets RHEL 9 and walks you through a complete two-node NFS cluster configuration in approximately 10 pages. Refer to the tech guide for the details, as again, this video will quickly run through the main steps to get up and running. First, register the nodes with Limbit and configure the repositories. If needed, we also provide a pacemaker repository that can be used as an alternative to Red Hat's high availability add-on. Next, install DRBD on both nodes. Once installed, we can prepare the DRBD resource, R0, on both nodes. The initial sync can be skipped by marking the data as up to date, and a new XFS file system is created on top of the DRBD virtual block device. Now it's time to install Pacemaker and Corosync. Cluster membership is defined inside the corosync.com file. By syncing these files in both nodes and the starting Pacemaker and Corosync, a new cluster is formed. The tedious part comes with properly configuring Pacemaker to manage all of the cluster resources necessary to achieve highly available NFS. Using the PCS utility, we can create Pacemaker's configuration, also known as the Cluster Information Base, or SIB for short, piece by piece until we have everything defined to successfully run an HA NFS cluster. First, we'll configure the DRBD resource and the XFS file system. Next, the NFS server is defined, along with any NFS exports. Then, a virtual IP is defined and co-located with the NFS exports to ensure consistent client access during failovers and maintenance intervals. With the SIB fully configured, we can now see all of the services running in the cluster on node A. And running show mount against the virtual IP address, we can see our export listed in the output. Now it's time to put the high availability to the test. To do that, we've brought in a third node with the NFS share mounted. We're using DD to copy a file from the root volume to the NFS share. And the moment the DD command runs, we're going to force reboot the primary node. This will trigger a failover, and Pacemaker will have to start everything on node B. So, as you can see, node A is now unresponsive. It takes a few seconds for Pacemaker to figure out that everything needs to start on node B. And while that's happening, the DD command has paused but it hasn't errored out. And then once everything starts on node B, the DD command is able to resume and finish the IO operation. So there you have it, a highly available NFS server running on an entirely open source software stack. So if you're interested in grabbing this tech guide or need help with anything HA related, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Remember to check the video's description for links. And as always, thanks for watching.